Good afternoon, dear representatives of the media. Let us begin uh, a press conference by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Latvia, Mr. Rinkevich, uh, who, and uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Estonia, Mr. Ligi, and the floor goes to Mr. Rinkevich. Dear journalists, I'm really happy to welcome my colleague from Estonia, uh, Jürgen Ligi, who has his first foreign visit to Latvia. He has very extensive uh, political experience in various areas, for example, in education and defense and others. And it is undeniable that we have already had cooperation experience while working in the Ministry of Defense. Thus, we were able to discuss many issues right away. First and foremost, I would like to underline our very good political relations and I congratulate the colleague with uh, taking this office and I express my hope uh, that uh, the new president of Estonia will be able to visit Latvia in the nearest future and that we will have uh, so as intensive political contacts as we have had so far. We also discussed issues that are related to uh, actual topics uh, in the EU context. Uh, first and foremost, the uh, forthcoming Estonian presidency in the European Union, what uh, issues will be in their agenda, especially in relation to the review of the multi-annual uh, budget plan. The second thing, of course, relates to our bilateral relations. As you know, we have very good political and economic relations as well as very good cultural relations, for example, language prize, this is a tradition that will continue. We also have good cooperation in diplomatic uh, uh, aspects. For example, we have common infrastructure together with Estonia, uh, for example, uh, in our embassies in Egypt and Azerbaijan, and we will continue this cooperation. We also extensively discussed the security situation about the decision. We also discussed the decisions of NATO Warsaw summit, uh, how we might implement them. And we also spoke about uh, measures that, uh, sorry, about events uh, where both of us will participate, especially in relation to the support for reform processes in Ukraine and implementation of the Minsk process. So welcome to Latvia and we will also be ready to reply to your questions. Thank you Mr. Rinkevich and now the floor goes to Mr. Ligi. Uh, hello by me as well. Um, I Edgar did mention that for the beginning we tried to solve all the big problems between our, our countries but it was a failure, we didn't find any. And um, we know, each, uh, we know uh, each other with Edgars for 10 years ago, uh, for 10 years already, uh, when he was working uh, in the Ministry of Defence, I was a Minister, minister of Defence, and, um, and in general in security and, and foreign issues, we have been so like-minded and good partners that uh, that really uh, we couldn't open any 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 disagreements or find any serious misunderstandings between us and i always remember that when i come from europe i feel myself at home in latvia where nature is just like in northern estonia where i'm come from initially when i was born today we discussed very rarely, uh, really very different issues uh, because of no problems between us, uh, between foreign ministers, there are, always, there are always topics and details which concern many parts of the world and, and which are of mutual interest and about the future plans and, and contacts we have had. <coughs> and it was fruitful. This is something that uh, such meeting is something that foreign ministers should have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ligi. We have very little time. Uh, 
So let us begin with questions, if there are any questions. relations with Russia. We know that Estonia has recently recently experienced change in both foreign ministry and the president's office. Can you assure that the policies haven't changed and what you, what's your opinion regarding the EU sanctions on Russia? Should they be removed or continued? I'm afraid the policies of Russia haven't changed. The elephant is always in the room when we meet to the political uh, Baltic uh, colleagues and uh, we have uh, issues to uh, to discuss. Uh, can't be optimists at the moment. And of course, uh, Ukraine and Syria are a hot uh, hot uh, part of of, of, uh, of this elephant. That is the policy where where conflict is uh, clearly coming from from outside, from one direction, and where all humanitarian problems are seen together, where humanitarian, to blocking medical aid and, and, uh, and, and uh, attacking humanitarian convoys, this is something that, that makes us worry, worry a lot. And of course, we also shared some uh, information about what's going on in Russia about uh, improving the military capabilities. Uh, this is happening, this is often forgotten, like uh, conflicts are getting forgotten in, uh, by many countries if the new conflict is coming and we think we have to remind about to the world about every conflict that is, that is caused, especially, especially Ukraine in this European region, which is a new quality where Clearly, not a new one. It was the similar was in Georgia, but Georgia just showed that we shouldn't um, forget anything and shouldn't think that uh, business can be as usual uh, if we are just kind and not uh, not careful anymore. So we have them. We do, do have. Uh, we must have uh, our memories, and we do not do have. Uh, we must have our. Uh, our um, uh, carefulness, and we are very happy that Latvia is, uh, is increasing its defence expenditure, uh, which was rarely a case in, for Estonia as well. That uh, why uh, we that was not so difficult to explain actually to Estonian people why to increase our expending to two percent and and uh, and above. But now it's. Um, <coughs> Uh, it's, uh, there is no questions about Latvia anymore. They are committed uh, and, and, and increasing the spending and, and what's very positive is the enhanced forward, enhanced forward presence uh, of NATO in, in the regions, or in the region and to have a clearly clear, clear response uh, uh, here, uh, clear readiness and, and uh, uh, this is um, something we both and all uh, both appreciate very much. Yes, I must let Papil be not. I would like to add. I'll continue Latvian. First, of course, we also discussed two topics, two issues. I maybe didn't underline that during the introductory remarks. First, we now that Estonia has a border uh, treaty with uh, Russia that should be ratified by the Russian Duma. And uh, I told what is our experience, what happens when the treaty takes force, basically how demarcation of the border takes place. And we are also ready when this uh, agreement is ratified, we are ready to cooperate with our colleagues and share our experiences. From our side, I would like to express uh, uh, some hope that this agreement is ratified as soon as possible. As to sanctions, our positions are almost identical. We have always underlined that the implementation of the Minsk agreement is an absolute precondition for any further discussions on sanction policies and any changes in them. 
discussions uh, on uh, how or what form EU and Russian relations will take place. This discussion will take place this month in the uh, summit, but I guess maybe a more defined position will be prepared by December. And if we do not see any definite progress as to Minsk implementation, there is no reason why EU would have to revise its approach especially considering the fact that during the last few days uh, Russia has uh, did, it best, did its uh, best uh, by um, submitting uh, a draft law on plutonium, basically on ceasing cooperation on the uh, recycling uh, of uh, plutonium, even proposing that U the US has to pay compensations for the uh, sanctions implemented by Russia. Yes, it's definitely a quite interesting turn in the diplomacy and in the policy of Russia. So here, in a way, we see that, unfortunately, both Syria and Ukraine and, and the whole range of these relations between the EU and Russia, between the NATO and Russia. I do not see any positive dynamics here and most probably it will not change in the nearest days or weeks. At least what we see is not very promising and thus I believe these sanctions and this discussion uh, will take place uh, in a more serious form, maybe, maybe closer to December. And the last question, please. You know, uh, this border treaty between Estonia and Russia, uh, how long do you think it will take to ratify this treaty? Uh, well, this ratification has passed the first reading in the Estonian parliament. We are waiting, uh, waiting uh, for for the Duma to make their part and of course expecting them to to make the decision but uh, we haven't seen any reason for optimism uh, for, for years already and, uh, but, uh, but what, this is not something we, we need to have a border we actually building our, our border, investing there already. We didn't do it, uh, uh, do it for years, waiting for the agreement. thought it would be nice to, to make an official decision first, but uh, it didn't work. We have had, as you, as you probably remember, an incident where our, our officer was, uh, was robbed uh, over the border, and then this was something that changed our minds. We started to make huge investments there, and, and uh, now we are waiting for legal, legal action, because it's um, uh, it's um, um, the details actually have been agreed already. So it's, um, there is no disagreement to where should the, the border be. You know, just the parliaments have their own own uh, let's say own reasons where they make the decision or not. Paldies, paldies, the like, Thank you, thank you for coming.